Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come to you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. That would really be appreciated. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming to see about my channel today. And for my returning subs, much love, fam. What's up, fam? Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you, too. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming to see about my channel today. And my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas, or just anybody, how to meditate, how the correct way of meditating to get the best results. Today, I'm listening to Sleep Chakra Meditation Music, Heart Chakra, Auric, Auric Colors, Sleep Meditation Balancing Healing 444S. I will go ahead and put that link in the description box below. Yes, yes, yes. Um, on meditation, because a lot of people, they don't meditate and they're wondering why, you know, they feel out of balance sometimes. When we're out of balance, it can cause... Uh, a lot of frustration, um, dealing with different emotions. Sometimes we can feel out of whack. We can get sometimes Virgo. Um, we can be very emotional at some times. And it can be just a lot of numerous things that are on the reason why we need to go ahead and meditate. So um, today I'm going to tell you the best results that I use that actually really do help me a lot lately um on the way i do it and it could probably help you also so um first first off when you uh get ready to meditate you go ahead and the way i do it i always try to make sure like i do it in here or i do it in my room because it's like the most quiet because it's just a lot of times when i meditate i try to make sure nobody's around because it's kind of hard to do it when you have you know adults walking around talking on the phone or even talking to somebody in the other room you know it, it can get very distracting so you always have to make sure you're in a room where it's like noise induced where uh reduced or whatever you want to call it where you know you really don't can't you know, be, be distracted. And always make sure when you get ready to meditate, you have an open mind to it. That's the first off. You have to be an open mind to be receptive on the signs that you're going to get. Because there might be, like, uh, during your meditation or even after your meditation, you might have feelings or visions. A lot of people say that they get those after meditation. Um, some people go to the fifth dimension. Some people are able to place yourself outside the matrix. So a lot of different things can happen. So you have to be open-minded to those things. So if you start freaking out thinking, oh my gosh, you know, why am I getting these strange visions or why am I getting these memories or, you know, I thought I was dealing with them or I thought I was, you know, healed from them. A lot of different emotions will come up when you have these problems. I mean, not, not these problems, but will you have these signs or any kind of synchronicities after you meditate or whatever. But a lot of people don't. So it's just that I try to make sure, sure people are aware and you have to be open-minded to anything that has to be a possibility of happening. And I always try to make sure if you could have a notebook handy, especially when you're going, you know, a lot of people are finding out, you know, their empaths or heyokas or even for the fact of being a twin flame or something like that, I always make sure I try to keep a little notebook and jot down little things that, you know, that could be like a, um, you know, like something significant that, you know, might be able to help me out later on in life or whatever like that. So, um, just make sure when you go ahead and meditate, <clears throat> If you do, like I do, I have my little white candles going burning right now. It's just to purify your room, you know, purify your, your surroundings or whatever. And make sure <clears throat> when you're lighting the candles, I know my throat chakra is acting up right now. Um, when you light your candles, make sure that you 
protect yourself with your light on your candle. So, you know, I was told one time, it's just like you got to make sure that when you're lighting candles, because you can bring in all the energies. So always make sure when you're lighting your candles, you bless your candles too. Say, you know, in love and light, you know, I bless myself and my family and the people around me, you know, my family and friends, you know, with love and light. Block me and my family or whatever, whoever you're praying for, you know, away from the negative energy, spirits, or frequency, or vibes. Make sure you say that. And make sure you say that. Also, before you go ahead and meditate, I always make sure I say two prayers right before I meditate. Because with me being so sensitive and I'm receptive to all the things around me, and it's bad even with my roommate, he could be craving a certain food. And the next thing you know, I'll start tasting. I'm like, why am I thinking about this food? And he'll just look at me crazy and just start busting out laughing. And he's like, what's wrong? He's like, that would be something I was thinking about. And I'm just like, okay, this is just weird. So it, when you're able to be receptive, like that it is just like really really you know I don't know what it is but it's just like you know every day it seems like more and more and more it's like more enhanced so if you're, you're you know you're sensitive like that make sure you always say a prayer before your meditation because you never know what you're opening yourself up to so um, when you go ahead and meditate it's like when I go on here I always go on different you know, meditations, it's like whatever I have time for that day, you know, I have usually, if you, you know, you have problems sleeping, they have some for insomnia, they, you, those are good for, you know, just for you to sleep if you know you have bad dreams, because I notice like when, you know, if I'm watching something on TV and I doze off and I might have a, you know, crazy, you know, intense dream, or, you know, when I've listened to the meditation music and it's so peaceful, you know, I have these calming nights where, you know, I have, you know, I'm up in the morning and energized. So those are the best ones to also sleep. You know, if you get a chance to do that, make sure you try to sleep to some of those too, because they have some for like 10 or 12 hours. So, you know, look for those for the short ones. Um, I have a lot of them in my playlist on my channel. If you want to go ahead and look for some of those too, I have short meditations and long meditations, especially for sleep also. So um, during your meditation, oh yes, there's also... <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put her her link description uh, link of uh, ten of cups ministries is the number ten, and it's like cups of ministries. Um, she does a lot of really good meditations that uh, that open up from your you know whatever kind of trauma you have for somebody it has betrayed you really bad somebody stabbed you in the back any kind of trauma that you've been through it helps you release a lot of stuff so during your you know your meditation you can go ahead and you will start probably feeling chills you probably have some memories that you know unwanted memories but when you do have those memories coming up even if it's you know negative or positive just go ahead and imagine it in a balloon and just let it float up you never react to it it's just you know it's just letting you know it's releasing a lot of things like the past vomit is coming up you never supposed to respond or react to it but just allow it just to flow up and just release it you know in a common manner so, you know, you might have those kind of experiences. Make sure you stay away from sweets, drink a lot of water because you're needing to, it's basically uh, just releasing from your body from any unwanted toxins, any kind of unwanted stuff, it's like whatever, whatever aftermath is still left over, it's flushing out your, uh, your system. So try to make sure you drink a lot of water. And if you have time for it, go ahead and try to do it once to twice a day. And if you can, you know, if you really know your body's not balanced out and you're feeling like you're, you know, you're getting more headaches or you're feeling like you have vertigo or something like that, it's good to probably try to do it at least three times a day or at least if you can, you know, try to sleep with your meditation music. That's really good also to help you go ahead and move on from whatever past issues you have that you need to let go of. So I hope that was able to help everybody out. Oh, yes, and I will be doing a video. I was watching Tosh Time, <laughs> and she did a video for Lemons for Leukemia. So I will be making a video pretty soon. I will keep you guys posted on me doing, you will see me eating lemons for leukemia. So it's a really good cause because I was a cancer survivor also myself. So I feel like it's a good cause if it's going to help, you know, the next person, you know, for whatever it's supposed to do 
I'll go ahead and do that so it's a good cause so I will go ahead and be making a video for that so I will keep you posted so I will talk to you later much love to you peace be wild oh yes and go ahead and you know I will keep you in my prayers and I hope you do the same for me like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line or two I always love to get the positive feedback and I always make sure I return every reply to every comment I will talk to you later. Peace. <laughs> Be wild.